after nice you can see that this looks more appealing and let me put everything in a group both um, the color correction and then the frequency separation I put everything in a group and I see before and after before and after so yep and we are almost done with our picture manipulation now the next thing I'm going to do is just to add my my logo to the image to make it look as if the logo was on the background so i just go ahead and then import my logo let's import my logo let's drag it to my photoshop and i'll place it so now i have to make the i have to orient the logo in such a way that it will look as if it's lying flat on the floor now at this point sometimes this is where your imagination comes into play so I'll just select the logo again and now to make it look as if it was lying flat on the background or it was part of the background I'll hold on to my control key then I'll come to the top middle then I'll just drag it down 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 until it looks like this now if you look if, if, if you notice now the image looks as if the logo looks as if it's lying flat you might not notice until you add um, some shadows and all that to it so let me just drag it a little bit down like this and I'll increase the size yeah now this looks more like it to me cool now the next thing I'll do is I'll just add a little shadows to the to the logo. Now I'll just I'll come to my layers panel, then I'll select the 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 layer of the logo. I'll double click, then I'll come to drop shadows. I'll just make sure I select drop shadows, and you can see that there are some shadows created just on the on the logo. Now the size I'm going to make it look shouldn't be too big maybe somewhere around 10 it's okay then the distance let's see um no, this is too much distance should be like 10 i think then my opacity yeah somewhere around 70. we cool yep so this is much like it now the next thing we are supposed to do is make it look as if the model was stepping on the logo yeah so how am I going to do that I'm going to select the part of the model that is supposed to step on the logo and then I'll erase that part of the logo now let me just turn off the logo and I'll zoom in the zooming into the image then with my um, pen tool I just select this part of the model just select this part of the model like this because I'm not very sure where exactly the image is going the logo is supposed to be so just make sure I make a very good selection of the model just like this go back make a very nice and almost perfect selection of the model yeah I think this is okay then I make my selection new selection yep then I now turn on my logo again now if I zoom it back in now this is the parts I'm supposed to clean the parts of the image sorry the part of the logo that's found within the selection so I just this time around I just select my eraser tool then 
I'll select my logo. I just have to rasterize my logo. Then I'll come and I'll erase. Just erase this part where the model fit is. The part that I selected. Just like this. 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 This way, it will look as if the model is stepping on the the logo. And if I deselect, then as you can see, uh, if if you look closely, you see the shadows on the logo. I guess zoom back. And voila. Now another thing I would do is I'll zoom in and it doesn't look very perfect. Now since it's a tutorial, that's why I'm not taking my time to do it. But then when you're doing it, try as much as possible to get a very good selection. And also don't let it look as if the shadow from the the shadow from the logo is falling on the model skin that might not look realistic it should rather be the model the shadow from the models falling on the on the logo so it looks more realistic so i'll just i'll just zoom back out now the next thing i'm going to do is you have to match the logo according to the lighting and the the darkness and then the brightness of the entire image now if you leave it like this it's it's not looking very real so first of all what i'm going to do is i'm going to reduce the opacity of the logo this looks okay this looks more like it yep this even looks more better and then now the next thing if you notice this part of the image looks very dark and the logo is rather looking brighter than this part so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make it look as if this part of the logo is also covered or lying within this dark part of the background now how i'm going to do is that do that is i just come and create a new layer then i'll select my brush tool and make sure that my um, foreground color is black now when at this point i'll make sure that I select the preset brush that has smooth and soft edges which is this then i would um make sure that the flow of my brush is set to somewhere around one or two so that it doesn't create a very hard or heavy um dark color on the logo then i would um make a selection of the logo because i just want the i just want i just want to work only on the logo not the entire image so i'll make a selection of the logo by i'll press and hold on control then i'll right click on the layer of the logo and i create my selection then with the brush tool i'll i'll just paint i'll just brush my black color into the edges of the logo so that that part too looks darker making it look as if it's lying in that dark part of the background so I just paint paint like this like this not too much just a little bit like this like this then let me deselect this and let's see how it looks so yeah now you can see that it looks as if the darkness or the shadows are falling onto the logo which makes it more realistic than before let me just turn off the brushing we've just done to see how it looks so you see before and after before and after so yeah and we are done with this image so let me put everything in a group put everything in a group now let's see how it was before and how it is now so yep um this is the whole process that i went through to get this image if you enjoyed this tutorial 
please don't forget to subscribe leave a comment like and share this video and um until i drop another video tutorial be safe and have a great day goodbye